hey everyone welcome back to coding stuff so in this video we'll learn how to implement this adobe xd designs in android studio and i'll also provide this all background images in the description box so you can download it from there and use in your application and in the next video we'll learn how to create database for a user and uh, using that database we'll pass him to home activity from login screen so we'll be creating application like this so if i click on this login login button I, it will take me to the login screen and if i click on this sign up button it me to the sign up screen and in the next video we'll provide functionality to this login button and sign up button so at the first uh, we'll just export these three background images so Control e and we'll select design and i will select a folder android ex exports and i'll export it next uh, this one so Control e and this one okay let me check uh, if those images are exported or not so you can see it has been exported so now we'll just uh, copy all these images and we'll paste it in our android studio so let's fire up our android studio and start creating the project so i have created one empty project here first we'll just copy those four images and make sure you remove the spaces from the names of these drawable images and the name should be in the lower case and no any uh, special character there so we'll just paste in our android studio drawable folder so control v we'll paste it here and you'll set the background of this one to first screen so you can see the exact design as we have designed in our adobe xd so now we'll just add two buttons and I will just constraint it okay so we'll just check uh, width and height of these buttons so 259 and 40 So we'll set it here 259 dp sorry 259 dp and height will be 40 dp this one also 259 dp and 40 height Okay, so now we'll just uh, create one drawable folder, drawable file, sorry. So drawable new, drawable resource file, and we'll name it as button shape. And we'll change the selector to shape. So we'll just add corners first. So we'll write here 20 dp. And then we have to write solid, so colors and we'll just copy color from here so this color and we'll paste it here so now we'll just uh, set the background of this button button shape cool and now we'll just change the text color to white and text all caps will be false so i'll just copy these two lines and i'll paste it here and now i'll just uh, change the text to sign up and we'll increase the text size to 24 sp i'll just copy this line and i'll paste it here also we have to change the id to sign up button and we'll change this text to login and this will be login button we have to change this constraint name to login button cool so we have finished with our first screen so now i will just uh, create two activities 
and I'll select empty activity name it as the login activity and another will be sign up activity cool so first uh, login activity we'll just change the background to login activity so background login screen cool so in our login screen we need to edit text uh, username and password and one button so we'll just uh, add to edit text and another will be password type edit text and one button so first we'll just change their id so this will be login button and this will be login password and this will be login username so we'll just constrain this to up 387 and this one will just constrain it to horizontal in parent this one also horizontal in parent we'll just uh, decrease this to 39 this will be 51 Cool. Now we'll just uh, change this background of the button. So background will be button shape. So we'll change this text to login, and text color will be white, and text size will be let's say 24 SP, and text all caps will be false, and we have to change this height to 40 dp. So 40 dp and width will be 259 dp so cool now we have to create one drawable for our edit text and we'll change this selector to shape And here we just have to provide a uh, stroke of color this and we'll just paste it here cool so in our edit text we'll just set the background just copy this line and we'll paste it here so we have to delete uh, this text and we have to provide hint here so hint that will be enter username so now I'll just copy this hint and I will paste it here just uh, enter password it will be here okay so now we have to change the width to to 97 dp and let me check what was the height so height is 40 so this will be 40 dp so 297 dp and this one also 40 dp I'll just provide here three spaces. We can also provide padding, but it's okay. So uh, we are done with our activity login. Now we'll jump to our uh, activity sign up. So first we'll just change the background. We'll set the background that will be sign up screen. This one. So now I will just copy the code from activity login 
click this button and we'll paste it over here now we just have to change the id so this will be let's say register button uh, let's say sign up button sign up and this will be sign up password and this will be sign up username sorry ha huh, sign up username so we just have to add uh, one extra edit text here that will be let's check it here that will be email we'll just uh, delete this constraint and we have to just uh, copy this and i will paste it here Thirty-nine will tie it to the hop, and thirty-nine, and this one to the hop. We just have to change this hint to enter email. And we'll provide here ID as sign up email. So everything is fine. Uh, we just have to change this uh, text of a button to sign up. So cool. Now we just have to add one activity here, our home activity. So this will be home activity. We just set background of this activity to home activity. Cool. So we have designed all the stuff here. Now we just have to add on click listener to our first buttons. So we'll jump to our main activity and activity main here. So this ID will be login button. So we just have to initialize this. So private button login button and sign up button. Now we just find the ID. So login button was find view by ID. This login button and sign up button. Find view by ID r dot id dot sign up button. So we'll just add on click listener to our login button, and we'll just start a new activity. So start activity new intent. And we'll write your main activity dot this and login activity dot class. Now we'll just finish this. And similarly, we have to add on the listener to our sign up button. Sorry, sign up button dot set on click listener, new on click listener, and start activity. So new intent, main activity dot this, and sign up activity dot class, and we have to finish it. Cool. So everything is fine. Now we'll just check uh, our UI is working or not. So we'll just click on run. So if I click on this login, it will take me to the login screen, and uh, it's just finishing. Okay, we have to remove this finish. And one thing, we'll just uh, remove our. Action bar. So we'll just set here no action bar. Okay, now I'll just run our app and see.
so yeah if i click on this login it will take me to the login screen and if i press back it will take me to the home screen so this is work working perfectly uh, in the next video we'll just start to write code uh, we'll just pass him to pass the user to sign up page and we'll take data from user uh, email username and password and we'll save it in our sqlite database and using this login page we'll just check if there is a existing user or not if uh, the data is exist then we'll pass it then we'll pass the user to home activity and if there is not we'll just show him error so make sure to subscribe the channel for upcoming tutorial thank you for watching